Big breaking news reaching us with two days to go until the start of the Premier League season. We can head live to Wolverhampton and speak to our reporter, Daniel Kahn. Daniel, Wolves have acted quickly to losing their manager. Yes, they have, Rob. 24 hours after Julian Lobotegui left the club, they've announced their new head coach, and it is Gary O'Neill. The news we've been bringing you over the last 24 hours. O'Neill joins the club on a three-year contract as the new head coach. Of course, he spent last season at Bournemouth. They were favourites to be relegated, but he kept them up after, first of all, being the interim head coach, then taking the job on a permanent basis. He, of course, left in June, and now he is the new Wolves manager. As I mentioned, after Julian Lopetegui left the club yesterday night. Let's hear from the club now. They've just released a statement, and this is what sporting director Matt Hobbs has had to say. He said... We're delighted to welcome Gary to the club. He's a highly motivated young coach with strong principles and very well thought of by everyone he's worked with. And we're excited to see what he can achieve together at Wolves. Our players have shown their quality during pre-season and I believe Gary and his team will continue to coach and improve them and will have success working with this group. Everyone at Wolves is looking forward to welcoming Gary, offering their full support and working collaboratively to help the club to keep pushing forward together. So, so that's what the club have had to say uh, after O'Neill's announcement. And if we look at his record at Bournemouth last year, he really did a fantastic job when he took over. R bear in mind, he took over a side who had just lost 9-0 to Liverpool. He then turned that team around in just three days' time ironically against Wolves was his first match in charge. He managed to get a draw at the Vitality Stadium, nil-nil. But I think that just shows the short impact, the short time it took for him to have an impact on that Bournemouth squad. And I think Wolves will be hoping he can have a similar impact at their club with just five days to go until they begin their Premier League campaign against Manchester United on Monday evening. How would you assess the quality of the squad he's got at Wolves, Dan? Because they've lost some big players this summer. Yeah, absolutely, Rob. I think a lot of the discussion uh, with Julian Lopetegui this summer, as well as Wolves, has been around the outgoings from the squad. When you look at former captain Ruben Neves, Nathan Collins, as well as Raul Jimenez, all leaving uh, the club being sold at the start this summer to raise funds. The club announced a cover letter uh, uh, earlier this week around their financial situation, the financial constraints they find themselves in. However, when you look at the squad O'Neill will inherit, it is a very good squad still. And they have spent money in the last 12 months. When you look at, for example, the midfield, Bubakar Traore, Mateus Nunes and João Gomez, all players who are young but full of potential. I think one area he may look at, Gary O'Neill, is up front, though, last year, Wolves were the lowest scoring team in the Premier League, only scoring 31 goals. So he'll be looking to solve that issue. But they do have two new striking options as well. Sasha Kalisic, the striker they signed last summer, he was injured on his debut with an ACL injury. He missed practically all of last season. And Fabio Silva, the young striker they signed from Porto three years ago, he was just a teenager then. He's now 21. After a few loan spells, he looks like a proper number nine as well. They've only brought in Matt Doherty in defence on a free transfer this summer. And I'm sure O'Neill will look to add a few transfers into that squad if he can. You mentioned that it was Manchester United first up live on Sky next Monday. Dan, what about the rest of the start to the season for Wolves? Yeah, it's a really challenging opening fixture list for Wolves, Rob. And under Julian Lopetegui, where they cemented their Premier League safety last season was at home. And if you look at their first uh, opening home fixtures, they, they play against Brighton, Liverpool and Manchester City. So that, those are incredibly tough fixtures. Then when you look at their away games, they have Manchester United, of course, live on Sky Sports on Monday evening, and then trips to Luton and Everton. And of course, we don't know what kind of challenge Kenilworth Road will be in the Premier League this season, but also Goodison Park at Everton is never an easy place to go. So as I mentioned, Gary O'Neill and Wolves will be hoping he can make a very quick impact on this side with just five days to go until the Premier League begins for Wolves against Manchester United on Monday. Dan, thank you very much indeed.